In this lecture, we are continuing our project of building a smart contract with Brownie from scratch. Previously, we started our new Brownie project. We built the smart contract. Next, we're going to build a Python script to deploy the smart contract automatically with Brownie. So we will automate the process of deployment. For the scripts to run, we do have to have the Ganache command line interface installed. So in your terminal or command line, make sure you install the Ganache command line interface. On Mac, that will be sudo npm install dash g to install globally. So you won't have to install it again, just the one time. And it's called Ganache command line interface. This allows Brownie to run a local blockchain for local testing of your smart contracts. So you can deploy your smart contracts to a local blockchain via Ganache. Otherwise, you have to deploy it to a global or public network, which is doable and follows a similar process, but it's much easier to just test on a local blockchain. So that's why we install the Ganache command line interface. That is for Mac, and if you're on Windows, you can run the command line as an administrator. So you just right click on the command line application and run it as an administrator. And then you can call npm install dash g ganache CLI. So we have to run it as the administrator with sudo on Mac or run as administrator on Windows because we're installing globally. So it's a global change across the computer. So you have to enter your password or run as administrator. So once you have Ganache installed, then we can go back into our project on the code editor, like Visual Studio Code, and we can create our Python script to automate the deployment. So to create a Python script in Brownie, you're going to go into the scripts folder. You're going to create a new file, which you can call your deployment.py script. And you may get this recommendation to install recommended extensions for Python, which you can do optionally. Then inside of this script, we are going to build a function that is going to allow us to automate deploying the smart contract to a local blockchain. So for that, we're going to define a function that we can call deploy contract. So we're creating a new Python function. In here, we can reference our hello world contract. So our hello world contract comes from Brownie now and we're importing hello world. So even though hello world is a contract that we built, it's now from Brownie because it's in our Brownie project. Okay. And sometimes if you get an error message, you just have to close and then reopen the file. Okay. If you remove the Python extension that we just installed, then that error message goes away. So be careful about the extensions that you may be prompted. They might not always be the best. Okay, so here we've imported our Hello World contract, which now comes from Brownie because it's in our Brownie project. Then inside of our function, we use a tab to recognize that we're now in the body of the function. And here we're going to call our hello world contract and use the deploy function, which can deploy the contract. So this comes from the smart contract itself and from Brownie. And here I'm going to pass in from which account I am deploying. Because in order to deploy a smart contract, you have to make a transaction. That way you can put the contract onto the blockchain. And for, to make a transaction, you need an account. Because we're using Ganache, that's a local blockchain, so we can use a local account with test ether. We don't have to use real ether. We can grab an account by getting accounts at index one. And this actually refers to accounts from Brownie. So Brownie gives you an accounts variable that you can use, which has pre-funded accounts for local testing. 
So because we're deploying to a local blockchain, it's just a blockchain on our computer nowhere else, we can use accounts from Brownie that are pre-funded so that way we can do this deployment easily. We don't have to make our own accounts. The result of this is going to be our deployed contract, which we can call Hello World. Right, so that is going to perform the deployment. Now, if you want to call this function, you can call it specifically, or you can just put it into main, which means it will run automatically because main is the default that will run when you call this script. So you can define a function called main and then call deploy contract inside of main. If we want to run this script to test it out, then we can go back to our terminal or command line. And inside of our project folder, we can use brownie run and then followed by the name of our script. So we have one called deployment. So we can call brownie run deployment. You don't have to include .py, but you can if you'd like. It's optional. Then you hit enter and you can see here we have brownie hello world project is the active project that we're currently in. Then we're launching the Ganache command line interface, which means we are launching a local blockchain. The blockchain is running at port 8545. It has a gas limit. It has 10 pre-funded accounts that you can use to make transfers and to make transactions. These are pre-funded with test ether that will only work on your local blockchain. Then we have a hard fork, a location, and our mnemonic. Then we can see that we're running scripts slash deployment dot pi main. This means we're going into the scripts folder, which is what automatically happens when you call brownie run. Brownie will enter your scripts folder and then it will look for the script that you specified, which is deployment. Then it will go to the main function by default. But if you want, you can just add the name of the function after it. Here you could call main yourself if you'd like. If you want to specify what function you want to run. Otherwise, main will run by default. Then we have executed whatever the function has automated. In our case, we have a transaction sent. There's the gas price, the gas limit, and the nonce number. Then we see the details about the transaction, which is hello world.constructor. And then we have hello world deployed at this address. So this is the address of the smart contract where it lives on our local blockchain. So this means we were able to successfully automate the deployment because we were able to select an account and then use that account to perform a transaction, the transaction being the deployment. So because we called hello world dot deploy, we were able to get hello world deployed. All right, so we were able to automate the deployment. Okay, and we can automate more than just deployment. We can also automate calling whatever functions we want in the smart contract. And we can execute transactions to, for example, change the number or to mint an NFT or to transfer a token. We can automate all of that interaction with scripts. So join me in our next lecture. We're going to learn how we can automate interactions with the smart contract. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.